Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. Whenever we are discussing about Hadoop, we also need to discuss about the Hive. And we know that whenever you are going for a real-time work, obviously there will be a lot of commands you need to work with the Hive. So in this lecture, I'll discuss about how you can use Hive and what are the basic commands that you are using it in daily when you're working as a Hadoop developer. So this is going to be a really, really interesting video. So before I go to the practical part, my request for everyone to please do like, subscribe and share this channel. And if you are looking for training, which is related to the Hadoop, definitely you can contact me. All the contact details and all the information is available in the description section. There will be a question in your mind that what is Hive? Hive is a data warehouse tool. Let's say you have a bulk amount of data that is stored in the form of CSV. So now you want to load that data into the table. Yes, we can easily load that data into the table. We, and that table we call it as a Hive table. Now on the table you can do your insert which we have just seen. Then you can also do the select, star, select table name. So if you want to do some sort of select kind of statement, you want to retry the data, you want to fire the queries on the table. All those activity can be done on the top of high tables. There are different different type of tables are there in the high. We will discuss that in the next lecture. At this point, we'll try to understand the basic command about the high. And one more thing which I want to tell you here that if you want to understand the high, there are two technologies you must be aware about that. One is SQL and another is your HDFS file system or you can also call it as a Linux. If you know the Linux and if you know SQL, then it is really easy for you to understand the Hive because Hive basically use HDFS for the storage purpose. So HDFS commands are pretty much similar to your Linux command only. So it will be really easy for you to understand the HDFS. What is HDFS? How to use that? I will everything show you in the next video. For that, you need to just subscribe to this channel and share this channel with everyone. Let's go to my screen and let's see how you can use Hive. So first of all, we are going to check whether the Hadoop services is up and running or not. And for that, we need to use the command JPS. So let me fire that command. So here I can see my resource manager, node, name node, node manager, secondary name node, everything is up and running. Let me connect to the Hive. This is how you can open the Hive session. So I just fire the command Hive and it will start my Hive session. All right, so it is get just getting started. Okay, so the first command that I'm going to fire that is called show databases. By using this command, I'll come to know that what are all databases are there over here. So I can see there are three databases are there. One is a default database. Then we have testdb database and another database is YouTube database. Now let me use any database. Now there will be a question in your mind that what is use command. So if I want to create any table, that table needs to be created under any database, right? So I'm going to use this database so that the table will be created under that database only. So if I just say, use youtube show tables i will get to know what all tables are there in this youtube database i don't have any table over here okay so first of all let me create one database create database uh let me create one database name as uh my db this is my database name okay so i'm just using that now so that I have selected this database now. If I'm creating any table, then the table will be created under this database only. Okay. How to create a table? We have just seen that. We can also use if not exist. If the database is not exist, then and only then create it. Otherwise, don't create it. Show databases. Use, we have seen. Describe database, database name. So you can use this command, which will tell you about where is the files are going to be stored when i fire this command i got to know that this is my hdfs location where the directory has been created with the database name okay and it is a user high warehouse location describe database database name now you can also describe the schema describe database extended 
I'll just use the important command among that is my DB. I'm also getting the same output. Okay, it will give the same output basically. Now, if you want to drop the database, you can drop the database like this drop database and database name my DB. If you try to check how many databases are there, you will not be able to see that my DB now here because we just dropped that. Now, if you want to create a table, then you need to specify the database name dot table name. But database name you are not specifying that's fine. Only the thing is you need to use that database now. Okay, so I'm going to create this EMP table. Before that, let me create a database, create database my db then let me use that and under this database i'm going to create my table so let's see how to do that let me copy the command create table if not exist if the table is not exist then only create the name of the table is emp these are the data types and the columns that i'm going to create row format delimited fields terminated by comma so what does it mean field terminated by comma it means this table is expecting a data in the comma formatted so let me create that we just created a table called emp if you want to know what all tables are there you can just fire a command show tables i can see that emp table has been created over here now if I want to do DESC EMP, I'll come to know what are all columns are there in that table. If you want more information about this table, you can also use a command describe formatted table name. Okay, this will give you enough information about the table saying like what are all columns are there? What are all who is the owner of that table? And what is the database name? where is the storage whether it is a managed table or external table this is really important you know there are two type of tables are there in high we have a managed table and external table so this will tell you whether it is a managed table or external table and this table data where it is going to be stored so basically it's a hdfs location so this describe formatted table name is really important command you can also use describe extended table name this will also give the similar type of information so you can see over here okay like if you have any partition table if you have any partition column that information you can also get it over here if you have any bucketing column that information also you can get it over here now if you want to truncate the table you can just truncate the table like this truncate table table name there is a difference between delete and truncate truncate means whenever you are using a truncate command it will delete all the rows from that table so in our case truncate table emp we don't have any data in that so i'm not going to truncate that all right if you want to rename a table you can just do alter table table name emp rename to emp let's say one show tables i can see the table has been renamed to emp1 this is how you can rename the table and if you want to drop the table you can just do drop table emp1 this is how you can drop the table if you want to drop the table from another database you can fire drop table the database name let's say youtube is the database name and the table name so this will drop the table from emp1 so these are the some basic commands related to the hive I know this will be really really important for you whenever you are becoming a Hadoop developer. If you are real, if you are looking for real time training, you can just reach out to me. All my details are there in the description section. Okay. Thank you so much. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel so that everyone will understand about the high guys. Okay. Bye bye.